So you're here because you've had an interaction with a narcissist and you know that that feels awful, you feel confused, you feel angry, you feel shell-shocked, you pretty much feel like you've just come, stepped off a battlefield. But what type of narcissist were they? For some of you it may not matter, but for those of you who really want to understand what just happened, we're going to look at the three main types and how you can spot them. So the first one is the exhibitionist narcissist. And this pretty much plays into all the stereotypes that, that people think of. If you were to say to someone who's never met a narcissist before, what do you think a narcissist is? They'd describe someone, say, like a particular country's president, for example, not naming names. Um, but that very much, look at me, I'm powerful, making decisions rather out of regard for other people. Usually they head people in uh, companies, CEOs, particularly on, say, Wall Street, those kind of places. I'm sure you've all seen American Psycho. There's lots of, there's that, that bigger than, bigger than normal, larger than life character that commands all of the attention. That is the exhibitionist narcissist, and they're easy to spot and you'd avoid them, wouldn't you? Unless, unless you were someone who was attracted to power, then you pretty much stay out of their, pretty much stay out of their way. The next one though, that's much harder to spot, and these are the covert narcissists. And in my opinion and my experience, these are the most dangerous because they fly under our radars. Whereas the exhibitionist narcissist, you can see that spot them a mile off and the warning signs are right there in front of you. The cobra actually presents in a completely different way. They present as someone who's either the knight in shining armour, or the female version of that, a mothering, a mothering character, or the victim, and they want you to play the rescuer role. And they will be, initially, they will seem to be better than anyone else. They are perfect. In all, in all essence, they're exactly what you want. So if you're looking for someone to nurture you, take you under their wing, that's what they'll present as. They'll present as someone who will do anything for you, that kind of person. But what they do is, once they've, once they've established that there's a need there that they can, they can exploit, then they latch on and they will never let go. The covert can become quite obsessive about you so that's another element to their character is that you become the absolute yin to their yang you you complete them in their eyes and that's not a romantic thing that is they are so incomplete that your character gives them everything that they want and being with you makes them feel important they don't feel important themselves but being with you so you can see the difference between the exhibitionist who absolutely believes that they're important and they're special and they've got this brilliant life and everything whereas the COVID doesn't doesn't do that so that's why they slip under our radar we're not looking for that but they attach to someone or something that gives them that status and so they will cling on to you for dear life for fear of losing that status and this can mean that they, they will threaten you, they will harm you, they will use children, they will hurt anyone around you just to keep you because if without you they go back to being nothing. And like I said, for me this is the most dangerous type because not only do you not spot them but they are obsessive about you and these are the ones that will, if you've got kids, they will drag you back and forth because they want your attention. They will they will try and lure you back constantly. They will do anything they can. They will intimidate everyone around you in the sole purpose of getting you to go back. Because, like I said, without you, they are, they go back to being nothing and nobody. And they don't want that. They don't want that. So you are the answer. They don't love you. They don't want you for you. They don't want you for your amazing personality. They want you for what you represent. And, like I said, they will do absolutely anything to keep you and punish you if you hurt them. The final one is the malignant narcissist, which again is incredibly dangerous and these guys just hurt for fun. These are the ones who get a kick out of seeing you upset. They are, they are 
toxic to the extreme. There's an antisocial, psychopathic element to their character. They absolutely just, they love knowing that they can push your buttons. They, they revel in that. They'll be the sort of person that as you're crying, they're laughing their head off. You hurt yourself, they are pissing themselves laughing. That's the sort of character that they are. They genuinely have fun destroying lives. And again, these are very dangerous people. A lot of the people in that category though, these are the ones that commit crimes. These are the ones that get locked up. These are the ones that probably have diagnoses because they're a little bit more extreme in their behavior. So they slot out of societal norms. You'll find with the exhibitionists, they fit into a particular type of world so they are high in corporate jobs they may even be celebrities they they, they slot in very well and actually their narcissism is celebrated and it's it it works for them it gives them everything they want um, whereas the covert they slot into society because they play the victim role or they play the knight in shining armour role. So they function quite normally amongst all of us. Don't necessarily break the law as such. They will only break the law if they are absolutely pushed to the limit. The same with the exhibitionist. If they are about to lose their power, if they're about to lose their job under a blanket, they may do something fraudulent to keep that power or... Any, they will break the law just to keep their status, but on the whole, they tend to function in society. The malignant narcissists, however, they're the ones who will struggle more to function in society because it, it stands out. Even as children, it would stand out that they get too much fun out of hurting other people. Um, and so they, like I say, they're the ones that potentially will have a diagnosis. Or